as you're born, they make you feel small. Living in this world isn't even living anymore. We don't, we try and survive. It's human against human. That's what we're mainly looking at. The zombies, they just wander around trying to find something to eat. Well, we're doing the same thing, but we're going against people we know. Uh, you know, all the stores were looted right away, so there's usually not much there, but occasionally you'll find a hiding place and people will have hid food there. We tried fishing in the Mahoning River, but nothing. Medicine, uh, it's very useful. I mean, obviously the things around here, conditions aren't very clean. Uh, you get wounded, you need medicine to heal that. As far as finding it, a lot of the drug stores have been looted, a lot of things have been looted, so one of the best ways to get it, in my opinion, is taking it for people that already have it. Robbing people seems to be the only way we actually survive. It's, it's a living hell. Just trying to find food, medicine, make it from day to day. You can only do so much. Panic is frequent. Um, that's why we have people like me that go out on the front lines and deal with zombies because it's just, for some reason, something I'm good at. Well, our team started out uh, early into this stuff. You know, we kind of had a bond from that. For the most part, we've had some newcomers and some goers and whatnot. But the reason we've been so successful is because we have a wide variety of the skill set. Zombies are easy. Uh, they're mindless, they have one goal. Honestly, they're really dumb. People are things you gotta be afraid of. Because we have some military personnel in our camp that uh, we usually let deal with the uh, human versus human combat because they're trained before this to have dealt with it. I was an infantryman. I served in Iraq and I served in Afghanistan. Shooting things and shooting whatever comes at me is not the hardest thing. Shooting family members. That's hard. Well, the worst part of living like this is just constantly having to watch your back. You got nobody you can trust to watch your back. You gotta be the only one. As long as you're here, as long as you're still fighting, that's what it takes to stand up and actually go against people, to fight these freaking things that are walking around that have no control of whatever's going on. Supplies are limited, people are limited. You know, you take what you can get. It's kind of a doggy dog world out there. Loss is a part of the world we live in. There was a guy I served with, and uh, we were outside looking for food. We were trying to find medicine. We were just trying to find anything we could. This one time, group of survivors came up on us. We were looting the house. Thought it was empty, and uh, they came down. I had to put one of them down. And I watched him. Uh, I, wa I watched him get shot, <laughs> and we tried to. We tried to help him, but there's only so much you can do. Was, I watched him die. I watched him come back. About a week later, I was walking around and I saw him again. Walking. He came after me like he knew that I was the one that had to kill him. If you want to be a hero, well, just follow me.